In this video, I will show you how you can install XAMPP on a Linux machine running Ubuntu 22.04. The first thing we need to do is to download the installation file from the apachefronts.org website. For that, we need to open a web browser and search for download XAMPP. And here is the website we want to open. As you already know, XAMPP is a cross-platform tool that helps setting up a local development environment with Apache Web Server, MySQL or MariaDB, PHP and Perl. I know that some of you might be raising an eyebrow now. XAMPP is an outdated way to set up a local environment, right? You are absolutely correct. XAMPP is indeed outdated. And you should be using modern tools like Docker which gives you more consistency while shipping the application to a production server. For instance, if you want to change the PHP version, then it's not that straightforward with SAM, while it is much easier with Docker. You can even set the version on a site-by-site -site basis. I will soon release another video showing how to set up a local development environment using Docker. Not just Docker, there are other modern tools as well. For instance, if you are working on WordPress websites, then you can try devk install or local wp to set up local host servers. So this video is for those of you who still want to use SAM for some reason. As I have already said, SAM is a cross-platform tool. So in the downloads page, you can see three sections, one for Windows, one for Linux and the other for Mac. We want to install it on Ubuntu. So let me go to the Linux section and there we can see three options one with php 7.4 while the other two with php 8 let me download the newest one firefox is currently downloading a dot run file which is almost 153 megabytes in size once the download is complete we want to go to the downloads folder and execute that file Ok, it's complete and here is the downloaded file. Next, to run that file, I am going to open the terminal application by pressing Ctrl Alt T. Then go to the downloads folder using the cd command and run the file sudo space dot slash name of the file. However, we got an error that says it's not a command. That's because it is just a normal file and not an executable. So we need to assign execute permission to the file. You can do it either using the file explorer or from the terminal itself. Let's do the latter. To make it an executable, we can use the chmod command. Type in the terminal chmod plus x followed by the file name. Now, if we list the directory using the dash la options, you can see that the dot run file is now an executable. Ok, let me run the previous command once again by pressing the app arrow a few times. That's it, the installation wizard has opened up. You can go with the default options, so click next a few times. and now it's unpacking the files. The whole process can take a couple of seconds or even minutes. The installation is now complete. Check the launch SAM option and click finish. Let me zoom in slightly so that you can see it more clearly. The SAM control panel has opened up. As you can see, the user interface is quite outdated. But let's not make that an issue for now. Currently, we are on the welcome tab. Next, we want to start the servers. But before that, let us see how you can reopen the control panel after closing it. Because SAM does not give any desktop icons on Linux. For that, you need to know the installation location. SAM installs all the packages inside the opt directory. Once again, go to the terminal and run the command cd slash opt slash lamp. That is the installation location. List the directory and you can see a file called manager 
dash linux dash x64 dot one. That's the executable file to open XAMPP control panel. To run that file, use the command sudo followed by the name of the file as we did with the installation file previously. Okay, that's it and the control panel has opened up once again. Go to the manage servers tab and there we can see three services. MySQL database, pro FTPD and Apache web server. Click the start all button at the bottom to start all the three services. However, to run PHP applications, we need only MySQL and the server. Once they are started, these three buttons will turn green in color. Ok, go to a browser and type the address HTTP localhost. And it's working. That's how you install XAMPP on a Linux machine. But we are not finished yet. We want to set some permissions as well. The current terminal tab is running the control panel application. So let me open a new one. Listing the LAMP directory using the ls command, you can see all the files and folders inside LAMP. There you can find a folder called htdocs. That's where all our website's files go. It is equivalent to the public HTML or the var HTML directories you see on web hosts. Currently, all the files and folders including the htdocs directory are owned by the root user. Because of that, we won't be able to edit any of the files as the current user. So, we need to change the ownership of the htdocs directory to the current user, that is Abhinav. For that, we will use the chon command. sudo chon, then add the recursive option, followed by the name of the user, colon, name of the group, followed by the directory path that is dot slash ht dots. Here the dash r option recursively changes the permission of all the files and folders inside the directory. After that with the avenu colon avenu directive we are assigning both the owner and the group to avenu. List the directory again and you can see that the ownership of the directory has changed. Let me go inside the directory and check it again. And you can see that all the files are now owned by the current user. There is one more thing we need to do and that is editing the Apache configuration file to make it run as the current user. The configurations are located inside a file called httpd.conf inside the etc directory. Open that file in the nano editor. Scroll down a bit and you can see that currently Apache is running as a user called daemon. The group name is also set to the same thing daemon. If you are not aware daemon is a generic less privileged user on Linux systems meant to be used by multiple applications. Currently Apache is also using it. Therefore PHP 2. But why does that matter? For instance if your PHP application has a file upload feature then the uploaded files will be owned by the daemon user instead of the current user. So you won't be able to easily delete or modify them while developing. That's why we want to change it. Let's replace both of that with the name of the current user and save the file. Press Ctrl O followed by Ctrl X to exit. Alternatively, you can also set Apache to run as the www-data user and then add the current user to the www-data group. After that, set the group permissions as well using the chmod command. That's how it is usually done on live servers. The whole process can be a bit complex, but for now it is sufficient for a local host environment. Finally, restart the server from the control panel and we are good to go. Let me reload the default web page once again and it's working. To manage the database, you can use the PHP My Admin service by going to localhost slash PHP My Admin. That's it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.